Hello, in this video I will show you KDN Live's amazing uh, GPU accelerated playback and effects. You can see the setting in playback and it's the use GPU processing in brackets move it library. This could be disabled if you don't have the right uh, libraries installed. If you don't, install move it and the dependencies and then enable it here. It works with Intel and AMD and Nvidia graphics cards. There are quite some amazing effects which you find right here, GPU effects. So let's just dig into that. Let's click in the timeline and let's play back the video. Yeah, just uh, to get a feel for the playback speed. Let's go back. And let's add blur. And just look at this playback speed. I mean, it didn't change at all. And we can change the value while using it. Oh, pardon me. So we can reduce it, we can make it stronger while we play it back. This is quite amazing. There's the cut. Let's just take a look. Is there a blur? Yeah, there is a blur that is non-GPU uh, accelerated. So let's try that one out. Oh, look at this stuttering. I mean, you can see that this is suddenly, I don't know, 5 frames per second. So this is quite awesome. Uh, my graphics card is an HD uh, 7750 um, by AMD. So let's just uh, keep going. We're going to continue with the next clip and we're going to use the next effect in the GPU effects list. The deconvulsion sharpen, hmm, whatever that is. Oh boy, that's a lot of parameters. Um, I guess let's just go crazy with the settings. Oh, yeah. Did that... Oh no, I just thought it made a difference. Matrix size... Uh, there's... Add key... F oh, we can even do it keyframe based. Oh yeah, this is quite intense. So let's just turn it off, yeah, and turn it on. So this is like sharpen edges, perhaps. It seems a bit slower. Yeah, yeah, this is not as fast as the other one, but it is definitely more advanced stuff. But still, reasonably usable. Uh, I'm just gonna skip comparing it to an alternative. Let's just keep going with diffusion. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Probably some kind of transpar. Oh, wow. What? So I don't know what this really is, but I can use it real quick. And yeah, it, it has a good performance and it looks weird neon lights kind of. Uh, glow, this will be amazing. Oh, wait, let's take a look at the clip as it is, and then magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, let's play it back, and then uh, stop it, I mean hide it, and enable it again. Yeah, this is like nothing. Playback speed is not affected at all, I would say. This is amazing. Here it is. Uh, what we can make it weird, but no, we want the glow. We want all the way up. Jeez, this is crazy. All right, let's keep going. A lift gamma slash gain. Not quite sure what to expe expect here. Again, some rather advanced controls. Let's just make that bigger. And, uh, okay. Not too sure. You know, I'm not, I'm not an expert. But all I know it, look at the speed of that. Let's compare. Playback with effect and playback with no effect. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go to the next one. 
Let me just make this smaller again. All right, mirror. I have uh, the clip twice for that. Uh, so let's just play this one back and then we switch to the mirrored one. Yep. No speed difference at all. Nice. All right, now we're going to try an interesting one, opacity. I haven't tried that one yet. Oh, you know, I haven't tried most of them, actually. So here we have Obama in the White House, and here we have Obama by the Christmas tree. So let's see what happens. Well, zero seems to just make it black, and higher values seem to not make a difference. I'm guessing I'm using it wrong. Let's do pan and zoom now. So let us just uh, try it out. So we're gonna make the size 150 and this is really slowing things down usually. Uh, wait a minute, does it just... no. I thought it screwed up the colors but that was not right. Alright, so let's just play this back and then we play this back and it is a bit slower but for now we're gonna take a look at the next effect which is saturation. Let's check out saturation. Bam! I mean not something that's... oh man this is, looks weird. Not something you will... oh actually it does look funky psychedelic. So look at the speed, I mean that's the main thing, right? It's not, it's not new effects, that's not the point of move it. The developer has a very nice talk where he explains what he wants. He doesn't want a lot of effects. He wants fast, fast and stable effects. So, funky. And now we're gonna do Vinget. So let's let it get into this clip. All right, let's not add it now. Yeah, simple, like super simple stuff, but looks good. And, and it's fast, damn, fast as Man, this is beautiful. If you like these effects, do give this video a thumbs up. Inner radius, outer radius, wonderful. No speed bump at all. All right, and it's time to get to the last, to the last effect. So what, what do we have here? We have a white balance. Um, and we're gonna just play around with the value here. So here we made it cool and blue. Yeah, it looks much colder for them now. And let's put them in something uh, warmer. Okay, good. So yeah, again, it's super fast and it looks good. So let's see what happens if we change the neutral color. That will probably have a weird effect. By the way, I make a lot of KDN Live videos, so if you want to see them as soon as they are uploaded, subscribe to this channel. Uh, red? Hmm. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Can be used for some coloring fun. Alright. One... yeah, let's bombard this with a bunch of them. Alright, so thanks for uh, enduring my tour through KDN Live's GPU accelerated movement effects. I think it's quite exciting. I look forward to using them. So have fun trying them out. If you make any awesome videos with these effects, please do share them. Put the links in the comments. If you don't manage to use them, uh, do tell us. It might reach the developers. Also, definitely tell us your graphics card. Again, I have a Radi um, an AMD, I guess Radeon HD 7750. Upload some videos of how it looks on your system and maybe we can see how like the performance of a video that is not edited versus GPU edited, whether there's any frame rate difference and maybe if you find an equivalent effect that is rendered on the uh, CPU, put them next to each other, just like I did with some of them here. I think only with one of them actually, with the blur I did that. Alright, so thanks for watching, and see you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.